what you want to do is you want to take a wider than usual stance. Give yourself a nice firm base here that helps prevent you from doing this. Feet shuffling. Have you ever seen anyone give a speech where they were like this most of the time? And if they're in front of, an, of a microphone, it stops even picking them up because of the movement. So you want to try to reduce that nervous movement. That doesn't mean you can't move. It just means you want your movement to be more purposeful. The other part of stance is your posture. Shoulders back. Shoulders back. Practice it in daily life. I'm talking to people in medicine and health. You know the benefits of good posture, don't you? Okay, so I can, I, I don't have to spend, but we still do. It's hard though, it's hard to, to do and maintain. The other, what's the big question people have about their bodily presence when they're speaking? What do I do with my hands? It's a dilemma. We encourage having your hands by your side as your neutral position. Occasionally, you raise them up. Try to keep open kinds of gestures. And if you're going to gesture, go big. Make the gestures big and meaningful and purposeful. I'm going to show you a picture of someone who received some coaching. And you can see that she is standing. She's lovely. But she looks like she's making herself a little bit small, doesn't she? This is the same person. And I swear she didn't do any, any weight differences, anything like that. And there she is with a wider stance, with her shoulders back, hands at her sides instead of scrunched up here. You see a difference? You can see the different power already, just even in the still shot. Mm -hmm.